Hi, welcome to This Week in Ames. I'm Susan Guiazda. On today's show, we'll check in with the Public Works Department about bikes to clean in Campus Town. Corey Mills, Operations Supervisor with the City of Ames. Corey, welcome to the show. Thank you. Well, we're here today. It's a beautiful spring day talking about bike riding, specifically bike riding in Campus Town. Yes, that's right. Uh, City Council asked us uh, to look at the interaction between bicycles and pedestrians in Campus Town and um, come back with maybe some potential options. So Campus Town is a very popular place for bike riding. In fact, the whole Iowa State campus area in general is really popular with a lot of different ages of bike riding. What are some of the comments we get about that area? Um, I think it's just the interaction um, with having so many pedestrians and bikes and vehicles, um, you know, in a very confined space. So we get a lot of the, usually what we hear about is kind of when there's bad interactions um, between um, all the modes of traffic in Campus Town. Well, you get a lot of those near misses, maybe a, a, a biker that darts out in front of a car or a car that doesn't quite look the right way. Um, are there ways that you can mitigate some of those problems? Um, that's what we wanted to look at, but um, we thought first we should probably get a better idea of what's actually, what people want or what's occurring out there. Um, so we decided to do a survey. Um, we'll do two surveys, one's for the general public, um, to really get an idea of who's using bicycles um, in Campus Town, whether they're just going to class or are we getting people that commute um, to work on their bikes through Campus Town, and then also talking to the businesses and what they think about bikes and how it affects their businesses. So if I were a biker and I wanted to take the survey, is it open to anybody? Yes, the public survey is open to anybody. It's uh, posted on the City of Ames uh, website, um, so you click through that and then you walk through and uh, have several questions about your experience with bike riding and how you feel about Campus Town and um, maybe help us uh, kind of fine-tune what we come back with. What if I'm just an occasional bike rider? Maybe I just uh, wander in for a cup of coffee now and then. Do you still want to hear from me? Oh, absolutely. Um, we actually have in there what your riding level is. So we want to hear from kind of all modes because everybody kind of has maybe different experiences that they want to see. If you're just going in for, uh, you know, coffee, you might be wor more worried about bike racks and where you can park your bike and things like that than people that are maybe just commuting to Iowa State. So really you're looking at the whole biking experience, not just where people are biking, but uh, what they like about biking in campus and what they don't like. Yes, and maybe some, what, you know, and even what they would maybe prefer. Where do they want to ride their bikes? Where do they feel comfortable? Maybe what are the things that they feel are unsafe in campus town? So now, right now, people should not be biking on Lincoln Way, is that correct? Um, you're actually, I think it's, you're allowed to bike on Lincoln Way. You're not allowed on the sidewalks um, of the two blocks of Lincoln Way and Welch Avenue right now. So that probably isn't clear to people. <laughs> Correct. Um, that's in our ordinance. Um, the only streets that don't allow, I think, bicycling are, um, you know, Grand Avenue since it's a highway, and uh, some areas are Duff. But um, Main Street and Campus Town are the only ones that have restrictions on sidewalk use. Well, again, we talked about that area being popular with bicyclists. Again, there's people riding on the street, riding on the sidewalk, and then there's lots of different different places where bike riders could actually end up going. That's designated as a bike riding area. Yes, and that's what we want to get at, you know, are there some bike paths or are there some better connections through Campus Town or, you know, is there a better way to get people where they're going? So hopefully the survey will give us a lot of that information to come back with some good options. Well, I know your department has done um, a lot to encourage bike riding through other means. Uh, when you redid 6th Street, for example, there was some new um, uh, sort of bike lanes put in there. Yes, and that's something uh, we're looking at and our CIP kind of identifies some multimodal. Um, 6th Street, we put in the bike lanes. Um, uh, further west on 6th Street, we also have uh, Sharrows, which kind of let people be aware that they probably see bikers on the road. And so, so explain the Sharrows, because that's not something that everybody knows about. Yes, it's actually a painted symbol. It's a bike with uh, two chevrons, and that's where bikers should be riding. And it lets people know that they're on that road that because of the amount of traffic or bicycle traffic or you know sidewalk issues that you should expect to see bikers on the road. Now, the 6th Street with the separate lane for bikers, explain to vehicles where they should be driving. <laughs> um, if there's a bike lane, you should be uh, in your designated lane and uh, stay away from the bike lane and give those people plenty of room um, to use the bike lane. So that solid white line is not drive in this lane. No, no, it's definitely uh, keep out of this lane. Um, it's for bicycles only. Where the sharrows, you're obviously sharing the road. Um, that's the point and you'd still want to follow all the rules about passing when it's appropriate. 
So I imagine bike riders at different uh, levels and different ages sort of have different preferences when it comes to biking. Yeah, I think that's what we've seen, and that's why you've seen a lot of the shared use paths, which uh, tend to be preferred by more of your um, kind of general bike riders, not your um, maybe commuters or avid bike riders who would prefer the street or bike lanes. Um, so I think that's what we try to do is look at kind of making sure there's all options for people. So what do you do with the data once you get it? Um, we're going to take the data. Um, we'll work with our traffic engineer uh, to kind of look at you know, what is the data telling us um, and then kind of come back with some options to maybe improve safety or some recommendations to council, whether it's policy or infrastructure changes that could be made to make Campus Town better. So is it possible that something you do in Campus Town could be maybe um, tried in other parts of town? Yeah, I think so. I mean, obviously uh, Main Street would uh, also um, see some opportunities. Um, I know we've worked with Main Street on new bike racks, artistic bike racks, and um, so it seems like biking is getting more popular. So I think you know some of those ideas that we do in Campus Town would seem to fit with kind of the Main Street downtown area as well. Well, a little bit off the topic of the bike racks and biking, but there are some other improvements to Lincoln Way as well. What's the status of the median upgrades? Um, we finished our median project, um, which looked at a master plan for uh, replanting the medians uh, through Campus Town, which kind of beach to Sheldon. Um, so we have the plan um, almost to the final stages. Um, right now we're trying to talk to Iowa State um, to see what they think about the project and if there's any possibilities for partnerships or things like that. Um, and then we'll go to council with kind of the plan and maybe recommendations and funding opportunities. So you have quite a few things going on uh, in the Campus Town area and we should look for those in the months to come. Yes, hopefully this summer we'll take uh, both those back to council and uh, get some feedback. Well, Corey, it's always great talking to you. All right, thank you, Susan. So if you'd like to participate in the bicycling survey, remember to go to our website at cdabames.org and click on the survey link. Remember that survey will close on Friday, May 10th, so you'll want to get your input in before that time. Also remember, May is the month that the Furman Aquatic Center opens. It will open Memorial Day weekend. Saturday, May 25th is the first day for swimming. Make sure to buy those discounted swim passes before May 15th. Well, that's our show for today. Thanks for watching, and tune in next week for This Week in Ames.